when I was first at uni for the two months that I was there physically, um, I got into a really good routine and I had a group of friends in my degree and we keep each other sort of accountable and we would do work together and that was really nice. And then when we moved online, it was quite difficult to not have that same structure and that's something I struggled with a bit. No one was really prepared for it. Um, the faculty members and students included, we both found ourselves in the transition period where no one really knew what was going to happen, no one really knew what was going on or was sure of anything. Um, in the first semester, I had it quite easy because I'm in the performing and creative arts. Lockdown regulations didn't allow most of my courses to continue. And the minimal online engagement that I had uh, via, you know, Zoom seminars uh, um, and Vula was, was, was great. It was really interesting to me how much I could achieve and how much my peers could achieve without the physical presence of a teacher. One of the things I really like about online learning is the flexibility, um, especially in lecture videos. So you can watch them whenever you like and you can create your own schedule, which is something that was, was nice. Um, although it was a bit difficult to keep disciplined and sort of make that schedule and stick to it. With the opportunity of blended learning, you get to do things in your own time. And I feel that if someone is good at self-management, this is one of the best things. And if you're not, it's something that forces you to learn that skill because otherwise like nobody's constantly pushing you and making you do things. It became a bit tough when I had to go back to campus and I had to deal with having practicals and then still having a lot of my courses continue online. One thing that's also a bit difficult is communicating with tutors and lecturers. So, for example, when we were doing projects, when we were doing our first uh, term project, it was easy to sort of ask questions and clarify things. But now with online learning, it's more difficult. I did find particularly um, particularly in online learning is that I really missed the um, social aspect of learning. So um, a lot of tutorials, because not everybody had accessibility, weren't um, face to face and as interactive. It was really difficult to keep on track um, and up to date with all the lectures. So I find myself watching like a whole week's worth of work in like one or two days. Um, and something that sort of made sure I didn't fall too far behind was the um, the weekly assessments. So having weekly quizzes made like made sure that you had to keep up with work. So that's something that really helped. The new ways of assessment were also quite interesting and how it differed from a normal sit-in exam was also quite interesting. And I'm wondering if we will ever go back to that form of assessment and if it's even valid in the world we live in today. I imagine that in the next decade, UCT's teaching will incorporate a lot more online learning than it does now. I would like a model where people don't always have to be on campus, but when you need the help, it should be there. I hope that there'll be a lot more flexibility because as we've seen during the lockdown, um, I think we've all been more aware of everyone's circumstances and that um, it's a good thing to not be so rigid all the time with um, deadlines and lecture schedules. And so I hope that that will carry that on when we go back to university. I'd imagine UCT's um, learning de develop in the next decade um, in a quite, hopefully in a quite progressive way. I hope that um, the more the university develops, the more diverse our student body can become. Um, and I'd like to see us move away from like all the forms of of education and move a lot more to these interactive learning spaces i do not see us going back to things or to teaching and learning as it was in the in the in the pre in the pre-covid context i think 
that COVID has shown us that we are resilient and that we can bounce uh, uh, bounce back from what we thought we knew and it gives us an opportunity to readapt our lives accordingly. In saying that, I think that teaching and learning over the next decade at UCT will be blended or hybrid. Online learning should definitely or will definitely be um, a have a presence within the UCT um, ways of teaching. So that could be face-to-face tutorials or practicals or even online learning practicals, anything that really just encourages um, interaction among students and lecturers. So I definitely do think that uh, if UCT continues this going forward, it will be something great.